on our website at www.jrs.gm. There you can also monitor JRS Radio Live. That brings us to the end of the news. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned and enjoy a range of interesting programs. And I'm Fatou Sane Sise. GRTS Digital FM on 98.6 and 102.6, the best FM station in town where you can capture hundreds and thousands of potential customers with a wider coverage around the country. Advertise today and get your targeted customers. Reliance Financial Services, the Adamadu La Baluna Falinkan, Aling Money Express Ningria. What a Kodoki, while a Sambalaroki and Aling Lion Financial Services, Silola Mimbe Sonyaring, and Nunga Bachariari. C'est <coughs> Gambia National Insurance Company. Set silent you tay. Pulsin bepoal insurance. Microtech Institute of Multimedia and Technology, the leading Gambian institute for Microsoft professional causes such as MCSE, MCSA, MCP, MCTS, MOS, MCITP, Consumer Certification and Open Source Training courses. Our students have full access to e-learning facilities, better training by Microsoft certified trainers. Free wireless access to all students and one PC to every student. In addition, Microtech has introduced a brand new Arabic and Quranic classes, first of its kind in the Gambia, for both young and adults using modern state-of-the-art learning equipment to reach the hearts of their students. For your convenience, we have morning and evening classes from Mondays to Saturdays. For more information, contact us today at number 122 Combosila Drive, opposite Ahmadiyya Hospital, Talinding. Visit our website at www.microtech.gm or email us info at microtech.gm. At Microtech, we make IT real. Gambia <laughs> Gambia National Insurance Company. Set silent you tay. Pulsin bepoal insurance.
community here in the Gambia will obviously like our product as it is happening right now, that they've liked our product more than we expected. What is the reaction of the um, general community or the, uh, the, the, the customers uh, regarding the product, um, the Super Slicer, about the, its usage? Okay, the reaction of uh, the customers uh, uh, on regarding on the, uh, on the usage of this uh, product, the reaction is very good. I think it's becoming a hot cake in, uh, in the market. Yeah, everybody likes our product very much. Okay. So, um, tell us about your, I mean, what do you hope to take home with you about the Gambia, memories about the Gambia, its people, because you are from Kenya, I believe this is your first time to come to the country. Yeah, as the first time for us in Gambia, we've liked the, uh, the, the place, we've liked the people, the people are friendly here, and we are going to take this message back to Kenya, that Gambians are good people. Next time we hope to come back and uh, do business here in Gambia. Thank you very much, George. Thank you, sir. Well, that was George there, the owner of the Super Slicer. We will be moving to other stalls to find out what they have um, to offer or what they have to tell uh, the general public regarding their products. Well, we are now at a different store. This time around, it's not about made in Gambia products or promoting made in Gambia products and services. We have the Ghanaians with their colorful display of, the, of their national flag, first to begin with, and then coming to the various products that they have here um, on display. We will be talking to the chief executive of the Ghana Export, Export Promotion, Export Promotion um, Authority. What's your name, sir? My name is Kojo Uswajiman. As you indicated, I am the chief executive of the Ghana Export Promotion Authority. Well, in the Gambia, we, it's all about made in Gambia products and services, but um, this is a different scenario now. We have, um, of course, non-Gambians here who are also ex exhibiting their, what their countries are predominantly um, working on. And this, the Ghanaians, you've, uh, you've displayed your flag and also um, some very um, colorful baskets here. Um, tell us more about this. Um, products that you have here? Well, uh, we, first of all, we are participating in this Gambian International Trade Fair for two important reasons. First is to strengthen the bilateral relations between Ghana and Gambia. You know, early this year, your Minister of Trade was in Ghana, and so our Minister of Trade has that we also come to reciprocate uh, the visit in, in a way. And more importantly, we are also here to show made in Ghana products and we are very much convinced that, that a lot of the things that Gambians for instance import from uh, Europe and from the Americas and from the other places we have them right here in Ghana sometimes uh, at better quality and at cheaper prices and just as we are patronizing those things we need to patronize the made in Ghana products and made in Africa products among ourselves okay let's start it um, tell us about this um, basket. I mean, it's generally for women, I believe. Yes, this is generally uh, for women, but this is one out of many, many products that we bring. We call this the Bulga basket. It is not only made in Ghana, but the products used in making the bag is also grown in Ghana. So this is 100% uh, uh, made in Ghana product you are looking at here. And this is 